Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And it looks like HBO Max is already starting to become a problem for AT&T. And what do I mean by that? So the platform HBO Max launched in May of this year, if I remember correctly. And AT&T was anticipating this to become a huge success for the company. And it wasn't going to take long. This was supposed to be a short-term success. Millions of millions of millions of customers subscribing to the service. And then in the future, the platform was just going to take off. They were going to have global penetration. They wanted to do a version for free that had add-ons. It was just a very hyped up big platform that AT&T was celebrating back in May. Now, it seems that's not so, not so much the case. So, as you can see by the title of the article, what AT&T needs to fix its HBO Max problems. So, of course, I'm not going to go into the article in detail. I will leave it in the description down below so you guys could check it out for yourselves in its entirety. But here are some of the points that I want to make which may be very similar to what you're seeing in this article. So for one, a big one, AT&T is not pushing the platform. There is no real advertisements that I'm seeing on TV. Just in comparison, T-Mobile right now is advertising four different ads on TV, which is costing them a lot of money. They're advertising 55 and older plan, Scam Shield, two lines for 90, and I think they're advertising one other thing, um, I forgot what it is, but it's one more thing. Uh, T-Mobile for business. That's what it is. They're advertising four different parts of their business on TV right now. I have yet to see an AT&T ad that states HBO Max is included in your wireless. I have not seen that yet at all whatsoever. We know it's the case. I know it's on certain unlimited plans, but... It's not being advertised at all whatsoever. I bet, you, I bet you most of you didn't even know that right now, Cricket has a 30-day free trial for you to get HBO Max. It's, it's just AT&T is just stuck in their old ways. They are not changing as a company. They need to get with the times so they are able to transition better into the 21st century. There are other competitors out there. You're not the only cell phone provider in the in the United States. You're not the only one that provides media. You're not the only one that provides home broadband. There are other competitors out there. You got to get with the times, AT&T. You can no longer be stuck in the 80s and the 90s. You have to keep your ear to the streets, your ear to the people. Your product is not being advertised and marketed well in an effective way. You're running right now AT&T is running one ad on TV, I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's Lily. She's pushing in the 5G nationwide signs. And then you see balloons drop. And then they tell you $1,000 on the Note 20 if you switch. Verizon does a very similar ad. But it incorporates everything that they offer in the same ad. So they, they still have the same ad with the family in that white room. Then they tell you... Plan starting $35,000, which is the same that at and is offering. If you switch, then they show you that they have the bundle of, H, uh, of Hulu, Disney, and ESPN Plus included in the plans. They all do that on the same ad. Very effective, in my opinion. It gets your point across. at and is just not, not that effective. They throw the pricing at the end of the ad. Of the thousand dollars, I was watching a video recently. You have about five seconds to grab to grab a person's uh, the consumer's attention while they're watching your ad on TV. If you can't get their attention within five seconds, they're either on their phones already, they're talking, or they're going to get a drink. So you have five seconds. I don't think her pushing in a 5G logo into the store and balloons dropping from up top is going to help get anyone's attention. In my opinion, I, I don't like the ad. I think it's a complete flop. I think they need to change it up. I'm sorry. You know, I like Lily. She's been there since 2013, but I think they need somebody new. She's been there. She's getting old, in my opinion. Not not age-wise, but she's getting old and repetitive to the marketing that they've been trying to push. 
So they need something new. They need something fresh. They need to say, hey, look, we got AT&T TV. They're not advertising that. They're not advertising the HBO Max, that it's included in the wireless, that it's included in your fiber. They're not doing any of that right now. It's been out since May. The numbers, according to this article, are disappointing, according to what they pushed out to the media that they were going to uh, do prediction-wise. The numbers are not close. They need to pick it up. They're not going to be successful if they don't start changing their ways. The market is now down to three carriers, whether you like it or not. I know Dish Network is in play, but who knows what that looks like? We don't know. They're going to operate as an MVNO under T-Mobile's network. We don't know what that looks like. We have no idea. Dish is quiet. They're, they're going to enter the market at some point, maybe before the end of the year. But we, again, we don't know what that looks like. We don't know how competitive it is. We just have no idea. So... Again, AT&T, get with the times. If not, you're going to start losing on in a big way. You have T-Mobile that is very effective with marketing. We know they have their struggles. We know the network is hurting, but they are very good at marketing. If one... If you didn't know T-Mobile at all, you don't know what they stand for, you would, you would think they're a marketing company. Their marketing, it may be stretching the truth, but they are are very effective at doing what they do. They built a strong brand. Their marketing grabs your attention. The magenta color helps with that, of course. They're very good at doing that. Verizon, they just made a power play, power moves. More announcements coming tomorrow morning. They're going in the right direction. They're keeping up with the times and they're going over well into the 21st century. AT&T, not so much. The, the structuring is completely out of whack the billing system yeah it it's now being fixed but it's still old it's still outdated people still have billing issues the pricing is never the same every month it's a mess it's just a mess and this shows it again hbo max is becoming a problem for at&t they need to push it and what they also mean by this as well they have a lot of customers that are signing up which is fine you know it creates it creates higher ARPU if you switch to the Elite plan. If you switch to the Fiber, it's higher ARPU. Cool. You get the value. You get it free. But a lot of the customers, let's say 5, 6 million have signed up, are the free customers. So there's no added revenue coming in for this other than the increase in ARPU. What at and is effectively trying to do, they're trying to sign up people that are actually going to pay for the service on a per-monthly basis. And that's not going over so well. And again, they're not really advertising it. On a larger scale, not that I have seen. If you if you've seen it, let me know in the comment section down below. But they have not. Right now, they're offering the uh, uh, the service for twenty percent off of the original price. Nobody really knows about it. It's not talked about. They they're not advertising it well. And it's just it's it's a it's it's just it's a well kept secret. AT&T is the well-kept secret. People just don't know about what they really offer. They don't present it to the market well or effectively, I, su I should say. If they were to run commercials saying, HBO Max, 20% off if you sign up now, I think that would help. You know, If they effectively added it into the wireless uh, plans on their commercial, hey, by the way, HBO Max, and then run a few clips of the content that's on there now included in your wireless plan. Very simple, probably really effective. And that would take AT&T to a whole nother level, I think. And it would help them bridge the gap of the consumer not really knowing what at and is really offering. So I think that's just my take on that. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Did you think this would be a problem this early on? Did you think it would last until next year at least? Or is this just, you know another AT&T failure just like many many third party outlets are predicting as they said with DirecTV they're now selling that they're trying to sell other non-core parts of their business because they never effectively focused on one of those businesses it's just very hard and it's very expensive if you have to advertise for each individual business segment it gets very expensive they have to advertise AT&T TV 
HBO Max could be considered a separate advertising budget. Then you got the wireless, you got your fiber. I mean, that's just a lot, a lot of money that they would have to invest to push out each of those, um, each of those ads on television. But again, they got themselves into this mess. There are now 150 plus billion dollars in debt that they have to look over. So likely at the top, at the very top, the CEO, the CFO, most of the meetings right now, they're discussing on how to pay that debt down. I think none of the core businesses are even being discussed right now on how successful they are or how it's doing. I'm sure the numbers are being overviewed, looked at, but they are not effectively discussing a business strategy on how to grow the business. Right now, I think they are literally discussing how do we pay the debt load and how do we please the investors. I think those are the main topics right now that are being discussed amongst the big shots, the CEO, the CFO, the CTOs, all those guys that are getting on the virtual calls. That is the main topic right now. And I think it's not going to bear well for AT&T in the short term. They have to turn it around. I think they have to forget the debt load that they got. I know they got to pay it. It's due. That's fine. They can do it. They have the cash flow. But I think what they need to ultimately aim for is growth. They have to grow the business. The business growth is going to bring you money. It's going to bring you a profitable, successful business, in my opinion, um, I know the investors in the past have asked them to cut pricing another 5 to 10%. That would effectively put them right around T-Mobile pricing, at least on the wireless side. But remember, they have additional business units. They got they got uh, fiber revenue coming in. They got media side. Then They're now heavily into the streaming. So let go of DirecTV. Sell it. Sell all your non-core businesses. Pay down the debt. You can make it happen. I think they can effectively, if they put their mind to it and they focus, they can effectively take care of all of the units, the business units, and succeed. But I think it starts at the core, which is they have to start marketing this correctly to the public, to the consumer. I think they need to start throwing a jab or two, or two at another carrier c competition-wise Right now, T-Mobile's hurting. The network is struggling. The The recent root scores, they're, they're dropping into the 40s on, on speed scores. If you're familiar with root, you know 70, 80, 90s is usually where most carriers are on the speed. I have never seen a carrier dip into the 40s on a speed score on root metrics. So T-Mobile is hurting. AT&T, say... If you're a T-Mobile customer, we will match your pricing, the magenta match or something. Give us something competitive. The the commercials, the marketing that you're running, it's not competitive. It, it, it just shows that you think you are the only wireless carrier in the game and no one else competes. That is not the case anymore. It's 2020. We're almost in 2021, 2020. We're going to forget that year. It, it was a bad year, probably the worst year in history that I've been a part of living wise. And we need to refocus. I think all the big shots, they need to get back together and start from scratch, start from zero. It's uh, I know Stanky has barely had to held the position for a few months. Stevenson is gone. He's no longer able to have an input. Um, I think he may still be on the board, if, if 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 I'm not mistaken, but he's retired. So let's do it. Let's get it out the way. You don't have to become a John. You don't have to become an uncarrier, but you need fresh blood to the company. You need new marketing, effective marketing. Get rid of Lily. She's done her job. She's gotten paid well, I'm sure. We need somebody new. We We, we might need a whole new marketing team. Get the old ones out, bring in new, new blood. We need it. It needs to happen. It has to be strategically placed. The marketing needs to be effective. If you want to push it all in, save some money on marketing, don't run 60 seconds, 60 second ads. Cut it down to 15, 30 if you need to, but be very specific. The TV, it needs to get fixed. We don't have a clear strategy on you yet. 
you're you may be selling direct TV. You got AT and T TV. Uverse might go. It might still be there. We don't know. It's confusing. It needs to go. We have to get it out. We need a clear clear strategy. We need somebody to come out and say we are selling direct TV. Streaming is our future. Streaming is going this way straight. This is what we're doing with the streaming. These are our prices. We're getting rid of contracts. We're going to include AT&T TV onto our bundling system now so we you can see all three services on the My AT&T app and our pricing is going to be compelling and it's going to be competitive. Something that T-Mobile cannot do right now. Their network is smaller. I mean, it's it, 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 it's just simple, I think. If I, I think it's very simple. They have somebody down to earth run the company with their ear to the streets, to the people, the consumer. I think they can make this work. They have great assets. They have insane amounts of cash flow. They can make this work. They can start gaining three, four, five, six hundred thousand customers a quarter. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive still, but their product is much better than what you're getting, what you're likely getting on a T Mobile network. Even in a Verizon network right now, they're going to be busy in 2021 deploying CBRS. Their network is still congested. AT&T can, can make that better for you. They got more spectrum right now. They're in the densification phase. They're rolling out the CRAN. They're rolling out additional sites. They can really make it work. But until then, we really don't know what's going to happen. We It's just, it's not a clear strategy. It's confusing. I'm if if I'm the investor, I'm concerned too. If you have stock in AT&T, I would be like, um, yeah, you're paying out dividend. Yeah, it's usually a secured investment, but we don't know. We don't know what you're going to what you're doing. We we have HBO Max, we got AT&T TV. You got AT&T TV now, you still got Uverse. You haven't spoken about Uverse. There's really no clear message to anybody from AT&T. Nobody not one person has said a clear message of this is where we're going. This is how we're going to get there. And this is how we're achieving it. And this is where we are right now. And other than that, you're, you're, you're just not going to be as successful customer service. We don't have a clear message on that. Stanky has hinted towards outsourcing more, which would be a big negative in my opinion, but we don't know. He's he, Stanky seems to be for outsourcing there's still some of the call centers in the U.S. It's just a mess. They need to bring all the call centers to the U.S., in my opinion, run them very efficiently, effectively. Now you have a case to run them through, uh, through uh, to their home. You don't have to have the buildings, the call center buildings. You don't have to pay a third party. Bring them in-house. Stop outsourcing. And let them work from home. That's what Verizon's doing. T-Mobile's doing it. I'm sure those guys are seeing the cost savings from that. They're not going to let their customers go back uh, to the to the building now that it's it's not um, now that it's vacant. The building, so why not do that? AT and T. I mean, it's just so simple, in my opinion. I mean, I know there's more to it from a business side, and you got to have all these fancy degrees and a lot of experience. But I think running that company is is very simple, but they're making it just too complicated. There's just too, too many Indians, not enough chiefs, uh, or maybe too many chiefs, not enough Indians. I like I said, it's just very confusing right now with AT and T, and the strategy is not clear. We know they have a great network, a great product. Again, not advertised well. Uh, they may even have the best uh, best network in in some cases and scenarios now in some cities. That's really where that investment has taken them, but it is not advertised or marketed or talked about very well there's really no word of mouth about AT&T a lot of people still think AT&T is the the old company expensive company don't care company company that your bill changes every month a company that doesn't care I mean it's it, that's that's the perception that's going around still and I know it and I know some of you are going to say it in the comment section down below that that is AT&T's perception and you're going to agree and that's why I think AT&T, you need a overhaul 100%. And if Stanky doesn't cut it within a year, he needs to go too. You need to let everybody go and start fresh. You need new blood. 
Um, you need somebody younger. Um, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I, I, don't, I don't think you need to create an uncarrier movement, but I think you need to create a competitive movement because what you're doing now, it does not work. So I hope you liked this video. Um, likely a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end this video now. If you are new and you look forward to updates, videos like these, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload the content. If YouTube doesn't push it out in a timely manner for your liking, make sure to follow my Twitter. It will be in the description down below. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.